It's all right to talk about long white robes over yonder in all of its symbolism. But ultimately, people want some suits and dresses and shoes to wear down here. It's all right to talk about streets flowing with milk and honey. But God has commanded us to be concerned about the slums down here and his children who can't eat three square meals a day. I was an undergraduate student and I stumbled across the work of the 20th century theologian Howard Thurman. In his book, Jesus and the Disinherited, he asked the question, what is the significance of the religion of Jesus to those who stand with their backs against the wall? When I came across this question, it prompted so many additional ones. What should Christians be saying about injustice? How should, how should we relate to the various social issues of our time? What is our responsibility when it, we talk about issues of oppression? So I participated in a lifelong odyssey, understanding better how we should practice social, social concern. The class which we've designed is meant to help us answer some of these questions. In a world deeply divided along partisan political lines over issues of immigration, poverty, gender, and so many other topics, what is our responsibility as followers of Jesus? These are important questions for us to ask because how we respond to these questions gives the world a picture of what Jesus is like. So I'm looking forward to this four-part class and the opportunity to engage you all on these issues. We'll be starting first by outlining a theology of justice. What does the Bible say about matters of justice? Second, we're going to express and explore what is the Christian's role in matters of political uh, engagement. Should we vote? Should we not vote? How should we vote? Does the Bible have anything to say about this? Then we're going to tackle the topic of immigration. What should be our response as we see children on the border, separated from their parents? And then last, we'll discuss the issue of poverty. How should we engage the poor among us? What is poverty? And what practical ways can we address it in our local communities, in our spheres of influence? I look forward to joining you all for a discussion, not just of how we address social issues, but how we live faithfully as God's people. See you soon.